I spent uh, several weeks uh, in the summer of 2023 in Gorongosa National Park in Africa, darting various species of large mammals as part of a series of different collaborative research projects that we've got going on there. We started a couple of new collaborations this year, one of which is being led by a former PhD student of mine, Hallie Walker. And then a second project in collaboration with Dmitry Petrov's uh, genomics lab at Stanford University. Both of those projects required tissue samples for some sort of genetic analysis. In the case of Hallie's postdoc project, we needed a large number of tissue samples from bush buck. She's interested in understanding the genetic underpinnings of risk avoidance behavior, predator avoidance behavior by bush buck. And then the project that's being run by Dmitry Petrov's lab is sort of a broad scale genomics project that's all about trying to use genetic data to understand the trajectory of this community of large herbivores as they reassemble following their decimation during the Mozambican Civil War that ended back in the 90s. For that project, the goal was to get a tissue sample from a male of as many different species in the park as we could possibly get. I set out in this year's field season with those two goals in mind and used a form of data collection called biopsy darting. Uh, to get those tissue samples. Biopsy darts are a little bit different than the darts we normally use for chemical immobilization. Biopsy darts don't uh, inject anything into the animal or involve any chemicals or drugs uh, in any way. They have a, a conical cutting tip on them. The length of that tip varies depending on what species you're working with. And so when you shoot that biopsy dart at the animal, it hits the animal, cuts out a small skin plug, and then because there's no needle or barb or anything, it usually very quickly bounces back out of the animal. You can locate it there on the ground, it has a bright tail piece so you can find it, land the helicopter. Hopefully over the next year or two, we're gonna learn a lot of things about the demographics of these different populations of animals in this park as they've recovered from war, their population sizes, genetic diversity, things of that nature, and as well as what causes uh, some bushbuck to be braver and more risk prone and exploratory. 